Friday. Hi, Sarah. You'll notice the lovely shelf of books behind me. I came to Thailand with 12 books. Yeah, I think I may have a problem. What's with the glasses, you may ask? Well, I only brought half of your supply of contacts when I came to Thailand. I figured, hey, it's Thailand. I'm going to be a teacher and I might as well look smart while I'm teaching. I thought today I would show you a custard apple. It doesn't look like custard, it doesn't look like an apple. It looks like a cross between an artichoke and a sponge. It's kind of weird. I haven't tasted it before. You're going to share the experience with me. I've been told that I need to peel it. So yes, we're going to start by peeling it. And... I don't know. I really don't know. Do you think I can eat this part? Okay, here it goes. I'm going to try eating the peeled part of the custard apple. It tastes less like an apple and more like a pear. Although the texture is much more like a peach. As you can see, we have some little black seeds. I would offer to send them to you so you can grow your own custard apples, but uh, I don't think they'll grow in America. Very tasty, the custard apple. Um, I'm thinking most of it is edible, except for this little sort of core part and, of course, the little black seeds, which are harder than watermelon seeds. I wouldn't want to bite down on one of these. And the inside is sort of this crazy little uh, wonderful thing here. It's also very juicy and a little bit sticky. So yeah, Thailand, full of really strange looking fruit. The custard apple isn't even the weirdest I've seen. Come to Thailand, try really strange looking things that taste a lot better than they look. Anyway, I miss you guys. I'll see you when I see you.